Yamaha has been making pianos since the 1900s and fast forward 120 years later, the musical conglomerate has a bewildering number of piano models. Yamaha now makes grand pianos, upright pianos, hybrid pianos and digital pianos. Within just the digital piano category, Yamaha has at least a further 6 subcategories of digital pianos. While this massive product variety means that there will always be a digital piano with features suitable for any buyer, you may end up needing an aspirin just thinking about which one you should spend your hard-earned greenbacks on. In this video, I will be covering the current Yamaha digital piano range and not the acoustic and hybrid pianos. I will peel away the corporate marketing mumbo-jumbo and give you valuable information to make an informed buying choice. My name is Jeremy C and I have been a music teacher and musician for the last 25 years. On this channel, I have made more than 300 unbiased and independent digital piano and keyboard reviews as well as tutorials. Subscribe and smash the bell icon for more valuable content like this. For the purpose of this video, digital pianos have between 88 to 73 full-size weighted keys. Do not confuse digital pianos with synth action keyboards. If you do not know the difference between digital pianos, keyboards, arrangers, workstation and MIDI keyboards, you can check out this video I've made. I will leave a link in the description below and you can check it out at the end of this video. The first question to ask yourself is, do you need your digital piano to be portable or will it be fixed in one location at all times? Yamaha's P-Series, DGX and CP-Series digital pianos are designed with portability in mind. These pianos are designed to be used on an X-Stand or on a tabletop and are lightweight and compact enough to be carried around. For the P-Series and DJX series, you can purchase specially designed wooden stands separately. These wooden stands are designed to give these portable digital pianos a more traditional form factor and also function to blend in with your home furnishing. The consumer home-centric intention of the P-Series and DJX is evident from these optional wooden stands as well as the built-in speakers. Let's start with the most popular Yamaha P-Series pianos. The P in this instance stands for portable. This lineup starts with the entry-level P45, also commonly marketed exclusively as the P71 by Amazon. Both these models are identical and are the cheapest graded action Yamaha digital pianos you can buy. It is no wonder Yamaha sells truckloads of the P45 and P71. With 10 voices, built-in speakers, a metronome, a headphone connector, and USB MIDI for connecting to iPads and computers, the P45 and P71 is more than sufficient for most beginners for quite a number of years before there is a need to upgrade. Although the P45 and P71 uses Yamaha's older AWM sampling technology, the piano sample quality is more than decent. It isn't gonna win any awards in this day and age, but a beginner to early intermediate piano player won't be disappointed. You can also get a specially designed wooden stand for the piano to blend in better with your home decor. I've got a link in the description to a fantastic deal on the Yamaha P45 at just $449. US It's usually sold out, so do check it out. And if you're lucky enough to find one available, do grab the offer. While the P45 and P71 are basic digital pianos and get the job done, the P125 is a more recent model from Yamaha with an updated pure CF sound engine that comes with damper resonance. The P125 also has a better key action over the P45. I made an in-depth review on the P125 and P121 and I will leave a link to the video in the description below.
The P125 comes with higher voice polyphony, 24 sounds such as strings, organs and harpsichords, 20 rhythms covering genres from pop, rock, jazz and Latin for you to jam along with as well as two headphone ports if you prefer to practice silently. To my ears, the speakers on the Yamaha P125 are better designed and are slightly more powerful. The specifications further confirms this. The P125 is also able to connect to Yamaha's Smart Pianist app on both iOS and Android for added functionality. Earlier versions of the Smart Pianist app was frankly just awful, but my experience with recent versions has been surprisingly pleasant. If space is a luxury for you, the P121 is a 73 keys version of the P125. Both are identical in terms of features and sound quality. For those who do not intend to carry your piano around, a wooden stand is available separately. Do check out the links in my description for more information as well as current pricing. The P515 is the flagship P-series from Yamaha. It is actually a portable version of Yamaha's mid-range CLP series Clavinova. You get Yamaha's NWX wooden key action instead of plastic keys. You also get the binaural sample Yamaha CFX and Bosendorfer Imperial Grand Piano with key off samples and virtual resonance modeling in addition to 40 other different voices such as guitars, organs, strings and electric pianos. All the standard items from the P125 such as a metronome, headphones, USB MIDI connectors, triple pedals and a pretty fancy song recorder are standard. You pay a weight penalty with the wooden keys though. The P515 is simply just not as portable as the P125 or P45 and I would recommend getting it with the optional wooden stand. The P515 is the ultimate home digital piano that can be portable at times if you need to gig with it. The P515 is well built and deserves the flagship moniker, but it has a commensurate price. I have links to two great deals on the Yamaha P515 in the description below, so do check it out while stocks last. If you need a portable, 88 keys graded hammer action digital piano with a range of functions and a microphone input to sing along with, the Yamaha DGX 660 is the only digital piano from Yamaha that meets these four requirements. With the arranger feature, you get 205 lush accompaniment rhythms across a diverse genres to play along with. The rhythms comes with intro, ending, two rhythmic fills as well as two variations per style. You can trigger the accompaniment chords with as little as a single finger with the DGX 660 Smart Chord feature. The more advanced players can harness the powerful AI Full Keyboard Chord Detection Mode. The large monochrome LCD screen does look dated in 2020, but it is really useful for maneuvering around the different functionality of this Ranger piano. The DGX 660 has the same sound engine as the P125, but the keybed of the P125 is just slightly better. The DGX has the advantage of more than 150 voices and Yamaha's live and sweet voices in the DJX are one of the better ones in the industry. And these voices are just simply not found in the P series. I found an offer for the Yamaha DJX 660 with the wooden furniture stand at an exceptionally good value of $799. I do not know how long this offer will last, so do grab it if you are looking for a portable 88 keys arranger piano with mic input that's great for entertaining friends and family. The last series in the Yamaha Portable Digital Pianos is the Yamaha CP Pianos, comprising the 88 keys CP88 and 73 keys CP73. 
These are professional stage pianos that are meant to be used with stage stands and do not have built-in speakers. Stage pianos are built with a comprehensive set of connectors to external PA systems for larger venues and has features critical for live playing. Other than the number of keys, the CP88 has graded hammer action wood keys whereas the CP73 has balanced hammer action plastic key. Unless you are a professional stage pianist or keyboardist, the CP series is expensive and frankly, you wouldn't use most of the high-end features anyway. Now let's look at the digital console pianos. These are the Yamaha Arias and Clavinova pianos. Digital console pianos look similar to an acoustic piano just like how a layperson has a preconceived visual of how a piano should look like. The digital console pianos differ from their portable counterparts in that they come with a furniture style cabinet and three pedals that resemble the feel and look of an acoustic piano. Several things, good and bad, comes from the console design. First and foremost, you get a full-fledged instrument right away that comes with everything you need to experience an authentic playing experience. You don't need to buy a stand or pedals separately. And thanks to an elegant traditional acoustic piano design, a console digital piano is often a beautiful addition to your home decor. However, there are disadvantages to console pianos and they are size and weight. Digital console pianos are heavy and are meant to stay in a fixed location. Yes, you can move them around easier than traditional pianos, but frankly, they simply aren't designed to be carried around a lot. So keep that in mind. Because digital console pianos use more materials and can accommodate larger speakers, they almost always cost more than their equivalent portable counterparts. Yamaha is famous for their trademarked Clavinova digital pianos. Only Yamaha can use the name Clavinova and it carries a certain level of premium features and with it, a premium price tag. In order not to dilute the reputation of the Clavinova brand, Yamaha came up with the Arias line of digital console pianos. The Arias pianos are made in a lower cost Yamaha factory in less developed countries and contain Yamaha's technology deprecated from Clavinovas a few generations ago. But this isn't a bad thing. But do be mindful you are not getting the best from Yamaha's latest tech. But in return, you do pay a very accessible price for these Arias pianos. The Yamaha Arias comes in two variants, the YDP and the YDP-S series. So what are the difference? The YDP-S comes with a folding key cover, whereas the YDP comes with a sliding key cover. Depending on the price you pay, the Arias comes with the older GHS or GH3 key action and all the keys are made from plastic. Other than the flagship YDP184, every Arias does not come with the more advanced technology from Yamaha, such as key off samples, virtual resonance modeling, and damper resonance. As such, to an experienced ear, the Arias will sound less realistic than an acoustic piano. You also only get 10 voices across the entire Arias range and you do not get any form of rhythms to play along with or any form of auxiliary output connectors to connect to external amplification. You do get a headphones input jack, a metronome and a decent pair of speakers. The Arias is an affordable ticket to having a Yamaha digital console piano in your home for as little as 900 US dollars, you get the piano with a matching bench and triple pedals supporting damper, sostenuto, and soft functions. Prices can go up to more than $2,000 for the top end YDP184. The Arias YDP and YDPS are a good starting point for beginners, but just be aware that it is about as basic as a digital console piano can get. Try to avoid the entry level Yamaha YDP103 and get the YDP S34 or the YDP144 at the very bare minimum. You can find links to these Arias pianos in the description below. 
Yamaha Clavinova is divided into three subcategories. We have the CLP, the CVP, and finally the CSP series. The CLP series is for those who are only concerned about the piano sound and the key touch and really don't need any other frills. The Yamaha CLP gets the 200,000 Yamaha CFX and the quarter million dollars Bosendorfer Imperial samples as well as Yamaha's new Grand Touch and NWX keybed. These key actions come with an escapement feel similar to acoustic grand pianos. You get key off samples, damper and string resonance as well as the capability to connect the piano to your iOS device or your computer using the USB port to use with Yamaha's Smart Pianist app. You do get 20 basic rhythms as well as a metronome to play along with as well as an audio recorder and player. If all you need is a good piano sound and a good touch with no need for very much else, there's really no need to pay more for the other Clevy Nova series. The CVP series is marketed as an ensemble digital piano. To me, it combines most of the sounds, accompaniment rhythms and features of Yamaha's flagship PSR SX and Genos Arranger keyboards coupled with the piano samples of the Yamaha CLP series. You get a beautiful color LCD touchscreen and loads of buttons on the panel for tweaking every imaginable parameter you can think of. You can create new styles, edit sounds, multi-track record as well as plug in a guitar or a microphone to sing along with while a vocal harmonizer provides backup vocals all in a tightly integrated console. The CVP is like the Bugatti of digital pianos and is the creme de la creme if you have up to $16,000 pocket change lying around for a CVP 809 GP in a grand piano cabinet. One word of warning from me though, the CVP depreciates like a new car out of the dealer's lot. Also do note that Yamaha do not usually provide replacement parts for these pianos beyond 10 years. What Yamaha is doing with their CSP line of Clavinova is not unlike what many up and coming tech companies such as DJI are doing. How do you cut the price of the very expensive CVP Clavinovas by up to 50% yet offering almost everything that the CVP has? What Yamaha did is to offload almost all the arranger features and the color touchscreen functionality to an iPad. If you already own an iOS device, it makes sense for the consumer to harness the very powerful Apple A12 Neural Engine Bionic chip to do all the heavy lifting in your digital piano. Most of the buttons on the CVP are relegated to the massive touchscreen of your iPad. Things like registration memory, triggering fills, intro, endings, sound editing, etc. are all done on the iPad with the accompanying software. This dependency on the iPad is a growing trend with even the prestigious Steinway Spirio. Every Steinway Spirio piano comes bundled with an iPad upon purchase. While being able to save up to 50% of a CVP Clavinova is good, I do have my reservations that one day should future iPads or apps be no longer supported, you will have a Clavinova CSP with most functionality disabled. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Jeremy C and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.